Hey guys, David, Nailbuster, here to show you how to get up and running with uh, Pinup System 1.4. Um, now, you have to have at least uh, version 1.3.6 up and running, so if you don't have that, make sure you're up to at least version 1.3.6 before applying the upgrade. Um, again, this I'll show you if you're just doing the player or if you're doing the player and the front end popper. Uh, it's, it, it'll just show you how to do that. Um, first things first, uh, always good to make a backup of uh, your C pinup system. Don't worry about the subfolders. You just want to copy all the stuff in the root. So you can grab settings if you need later and just copy it somewhere. I'll just put it into temp and you can paste it over here um, just to make a backup. Uh, now, wherever you downloaded the zip, uh, before we work with the zip, triple check, you want to go into properties, Make sure it's unblocked. This so the dreaded Windows blocking these days. Uh, or use 7-Zip, which uh, is another zipping app that'll make sure it's not blocked. Um, now I'm just going to go into the zip. I'm going to right-click, copy everything in the zip. And I'm going to go into my C colon pin up system. Where we are yet there. And we're going to right-click, paste. And it'll take a while. It'll do its thing. Now, when it comes back, when it comes up, you want to just make sure you say yes, replace everything. Don't skip anything. Just overwrite it all. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let it do its thing. Um, it's getting there. Do, 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 do. Famous song. Um, Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Um, so now that we have that now, uh, if you're using just pinup player, not the front end popper, you're pretty much done. There's nothing you need to do. You're up to version 1.4 now and go have fun playing with pup packs. Now, if you're using the front end, there's a couple of things we got to do now. Uh, you will need to find a batch file here. It's called, make sure you get the right one. Uh, where are you? Pinup. Popper. Pinup popper registered up bat. Very important. If you don't run this, things will not upgrade nicely. You want to right click, you want to run as administrator. And you want to say yes. Um, now, you'll notice the, the, the displays will all remember what they were from the last version, but you want to go to each one and you want to make sure it's properly aligned now, nothing bleeding. It'll give you an error now if you try and save it uh, when it's off. Um, but you'll notice also in 1.4 we have these cool things like uh, you can center, you can go full, you can still drag a thing and then go center, center up and down, full up and down, full screen, and refresh video if you want to get that working. Okay, so go through each one of these and make sure you're all set up and save and exit. Okay, so once we have that, now there's one other thing we need to do, and that is you'll notice here there's a pinup player vpin main. You want to double click on that and you want to copy or even cut if you want because we won't need them anymore, but uh, let's cut it then. So we'll cut these four and you want to go into your C colon visual pinball or wherever it is, vpin main. And in the root, you want to right click and you want to paste. Make sure you paste in the, if obviously you replace, these are just replacing pup files. So it won't mess around with any of your other things. Um, and then here, there's one thing you want to do. See the pup DMD control register that bat? You want to right click on that and you want to run as administrator. Say yes. It should just pop up if there's no error messages and that's it. Okay, so that's the hardest part of it. Now, if you were to try and run pinup menu right now, it would say there's an error, your database is old. It has a check in there to make sure the database and the version match. Uh, so you need to run pinup menu setup and when you run pinup menu setup it verifies that your sql schema fields new stuff is all there uh, you just want to hit yes it'll make a backup uh, it should take very quick and it'll be all done and you're rocking you're in here now you'll notice i have a, a theme here um, we'll get to that after um, that's not the default theme by the way the default theme is windows but um, the only thing that didn't get carried over is the use dmd and the use doff uh, stuff that you had in the pup menu script that you used to modify. Now things have changed in 1.4. You don't modify uh, the pup script anymore. That's like a, 
uh, a system file that has all the information. What you do is we, we split that up into an options and a theme options uh, file. But for you, if you just go to global config and you go to the script, we have two buttons here for you. So you don't really need to know what file names are or whatnot. So modify script system options. That's where you set your used off uh, and use DMD. Uh, and you set that up there and you save it. Um, and if you had scripts, uh, we'll get into other videos with scripts, but here's options for the scripts. So there's no need anymore to, you should never touch the pup menu script.pup file that you used to do. Everything is done through these two buttons here now. Uh, here you'll notice I, there's a cute little popper. This is just for the back office, sorry. This is just for the, system, the setting up the system. Uh, and you can change and try the different colors you like here. And uh, I think I like uh, this one here. It's cute. Um, that's it. Now, you'll have to go through the documentation as far as all the new stuff uh, that's in 1.4. But at least now you should be able to run the, the, the menu. And you should be ready to rock and roll with uh, version 1.4. Alrighty. And now if you have a real hardware DMD and you want to have MP4s and videos playing now that 1.4 does that, I have another video for that. But for everyone else, you're ready to start uh, looking at all the new features. Alrighty, thanks.